because my roommate doesn't like the idea of me bringing men home. For the last time, we're not roommates, we're married. I didn't know you were in here. Why I'm not dating right now by me. Number one, we're still in the middle of a pandemic. Number two, I am a Virgo. Number three, I both crave and fear intimacy. Number four, I'm a little bit ugly. And number five, I logged out of my Tinder and can't remember the password to log back in. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Because I'm almost 23 years old, and it doesn't matter if they're three years younger than me or three years older than me or any age in between. They don't appreciate a nice guy, like a genuine nice guy. I should have spent the last 21 years of my life trying to um, find the answer to this question. Um, so I'm just going to run by a few of my theories with you all. Number one, we have fear of men that is in bold and highlighted. Um, so I think that one's my top theory as of right now. Next up, we have unbelievably high standards and expectations regarding love and romance. Um, I do think that one is um, due to some Pisces placements that I have. Um, oh, I crave intimacy, but the thought of men knowing I have feelings for them gives me literal IBS. Okay. Um, also, we have a few crushes dating back a few years that I can't move on from, so I need to type a few loose ends and get some closure on those ones before I can move on and develop new feelings. So, um, hmm, what else? I guess I'm getting from this list that I am unlovable. October 12th, 2018, I got dumped because my ex wanted to have a three-way. Let's just say the third participant wasn't human. February 31st, 2019, I got dumped because my ex found out I dated someone before I dated them. December 34th, 2019, I got dumped because my ex slept with my dad and apparently he was better in bed than I was. Conclusion, I don't date men anymore. Because I have unrealistic expectations. I want a man like this, but I look like this. So, clearly you see the problem, okay? Um, so my love language is, uh, violence. So when I'm really comfortable around someone, um, and I really enjoy their presence, I just beat the shit out of them. That scares people, so. Literally can't stand hookup culture. I don't have a problem with anyone that does it. I just don't personally choose to. It's so normalized nowadays to just meet up and fuck that I feel like no one ever takes each other seriously. And when someone is serious, they get scared and run away. So that's my number one. And number two, I truly believe that you should love yourself first before putting someone else before you. You're just gonna keep looking for people to fill the void of what you can't give to yourself. And then when they don't give you the love that you know you deserve, you're gonna be left thinking, oh, what did I do wrong? When you didn't do anything wrong, you just went looking in the wrong place when you should be looking in yourself. And lastly, it's because I live in an area where there's not many options. I wanna meet the old fashioned way, but COVID. Because I live in Indiana. There's no signs of intelligent life anywhere. And you only have the option of your ex. If you're in Indiana, you understand. I'm fucking ugly. Where do we even start with this? Might be the fact that I can't handle the most serious situations without using sarcasm. The fact that I'm built like a palm tree but dress like somebody you can find sleeping outside in a box. Or, you know, maybe because I'm in the middle of nowhere in New Jersey. Like two minutes past my house, there is a open field filled with horses. And those horses have jackets. Now the jackets on the horses doesn't have anything to do with why I'm single. I just feel bad for like wild horses, you know? They didn't get jackets. So I think the real reason that everyone consecutively decided to stop dating in 2021 was because we all went through breakups in 2020 and we came out the other side and we were like wait i'm actually pretty cool i'm not gonna let a 5'8 guy with a mediocre dick ruin my life like i can ruin my life all on my own i am fucking crippled because that is you have fun of and that's good enough for him I'm sorry I made this video. I I couldn't stop myself. Simple, it's because people don't respect your time. I literally just drove an hour away from my house to come see a girl that I've been talking to for a good like two weeks. We've FaceTime, called, texted a bunch. We connect really well. And I drive out here to come see her 
after yesterday. She she bailed on me yesterday because of work, and I come out tonight anyways. And uh, yeah, nothing. Doesn't say anything. I drove an hour for nothing. I'm nowhere. I'm five foot seven. I'm ugly as hell. My forehead is huge. I got no self confidence. I'm always sad. I can't even build up the courage to text a female. And I get left undelivered anyways. So like, what's the point? I'm gonna just say I'm gonna play video games, honestly. The narrative that we are not whole until we have our other half is exceptionally toxic and damaging. You are asking people for a justification, a cause, a reason for them just existing. It implies that there is something wrong with being single. When in reality, learning how to be whole and happy with yourself is the healthiest thing. And furthermore, relationship hopping or the need to always be with someone affects our ability to produce dopamine on our own. Over time, our brain creates this pathway of I need to be with someone in order to be happy. I need to have a relationship in order to get that dopamine hit, which perpetuates the false narrative that being single is bad. The real question you should be asking yourself is what is the real reason you feel you can't be single right now? No one likes me simple it's because people don't respect your time i literally just drove an hour away from my house to come see a girl that i've been talking to for a good like two weeks we've facetime called texted a bunch we connect really well and i drive out here to come see her after yesterday she she bailed on me yesterday because of work and i come out tonight anyways and uh yeah nothing doesn't say anything i drove an hour for nothing